you're new to Autodesk Fusion 360 and you want to create a template with your own title block. So you flip up to the file menu, pick new drawing for new drawing template. I'm going to do it from scratch so I'll say OK. Up comes the existing, the default template. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this and you say I want to design my own title block. So you expand the sheet settings, right click on title block and say new title block. Well, you could use from existing, you could use the existing title lock we just deleted. It's still there, but you can actually edit that one. You could use an AutoCAD drawing, but you don't have AutoCAD. So you don't have a drawing. So you're going to do it from scratch. Let me jump into one real quick and show you something that's going to hit you real hard. So you get into the editor and you want to sketch a rectangle down here. So we pick rectangle. It snaps to the corner just perfect. Well, then you try and enter some dimensions. Well, you try your best. You can only guess at it. You cannot type in any dimensions whatsoever. So this could be very difficult when you're trying to draw extra lines inside your tile box. So let me show you a way around this in this video. The answer to this problem is starts in your modeling environment. You just simply start a sketch. I would put an XY plane. And then you want to sketch. You always sketch starting at the origin and move off to the upper left corner. This is like the bottom corner of your title block and your sketching should be here. In this sketching environment you have full dimensioning capabilities. So you can make it any size, any, and have full control with dimensions over it. Now I'm not going to continue with this. I have another one already finished. I'm going to go into the sketch and as you can see, I've got it drawn from the origin, fully dimensioned, and all the areas I need in my title block. So with the control in the sketching environment, you have a lot of ability to draw anything you want. A word of caution here, don't try to put text in it. It will not come across in this method. So what you want to do is finish your sketch and save it to any place on your uh, workspace that you, or your database that you want. And then once you save it, go up under File, Export. You want to pick a name. I'm just going to use default. And then I'm going to come down and pick DWG. Now this DWG method works on all versions of Fusion 360, whether it's personal, subscription, or student. Direct it to a folder of your choice on your hard drive and hit export. Now at this point you need to be very patient. This may take a few minutes or it could take quite a few minutes. So be very patient. If you want to close this you can and come back later. It will give you a note that comes up and says it's finished and also to appear in your folder. So just be patient at this point. So now that your DWG has finished and is in your local folder, you want to go back and create your template. So new drawing, new drawing template. I'm doing it from scratch. This is just to repeat as before. I'm going to get rid of the existing title block and I'm going to right click on my title block over here and pick new title block. Then this time I can use a DWG file because I just I had it generated. So I pick the folder and navigate to it and say open. Say OK and it's in your sheet layout. So now you want to edit this and add attributes and text and things like that. You would pick on it, right click and say edit title block and you can add your text attributes or whatever you need to, even images. So you created a title block with exact dimensions you need and avoid the problems you'll get with this where you can enter no dimensions. If you would like to design your title block and border, you will need to know the available spaces allowed in your Fusion 360 sheet sizes. I will recommend a website for you. It is the Imagine It blog and is on creating Fusion 360 title blocks. I'll put a link underneath the video in YouTube. If you come down this article down to the AutoCAD section, 
and a little further down it mentions the origin but it also shows you the available area for a ASME border sizes and ISO. This is unbelievably accurate and very very good resource. So if you're going to draw a complete border you'll need to look at that chart. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you build a good template.